Hello everybody, my name is Seti Sid, and this is a quick tutorial on how to return a Dell Inspiron 1521 to its original factory settings. This is a snapshot of what my computer looked like before I performed the system restore. At a glance you can see that I have a lot of programs and folders on my desktop which are contributing to a slow running computer. If you take a look at my hard drive space before the system restore, you can see that I only have 11 gigabytes of free space out of 136 gigabytes, which is less than 10% of the available space and the reason for the red bar. Before you begin, the first thing you should do before restoring your computer back to its original factory state is back up or save all your personal files on an external hard drive, CD, DVD, or flash drive because all your personal files will be erased during the restore process. Once erased, you will not be able to recover any of your personal files. Your personal files can include music or MP3 files, videos, pictures, any documents you may have created, and any software that you may have purchased and downloaded. You should also make sure that you have a username and password with administrative privileges before you start the restore process. You can go to the Windows Control Panel and select User Accounts to verify, set, or change your username, password, and privileges. Okay, once you have everything saved in a username and password with administrative privileges, you can go ahead and shut down your computer and then restart it using the power button. As soon as you see this screen, you should immediately start tapping the F8 key before this screen disappears. The F8 key is located directly below the power button. You should now see the Advanced Boot Option screen. Press the enter key to select the highlighted option of repair your computer. The next screen that appears asks that you select the keyboard input method. Just make sure the US is selected and then click the next button to continue. The next screen that appears asks you for a username and password. Enter that information and click OK to continue. The next screen that appears is where you select to restore your computer back to its factory settings. Click on the last option or link in the list which is Dell Factory Image Restore. The next screen that appears is the welcome screen. Your first warning that all your personal files will be overridden. Click the next button to continue. The next screen that appears asks that you confirm that you want to delete all your files and return your computer back to its original state. To confirm your understanding and start the process of reformatting your hard drive, you must check the box by clicking on it and then clicking the next button to start reformatting your hard drive. Your hard drive should now be reformatting. This process can take a few hours to complete, so be patient. Once your hard drive is reformatted, the original software will be reinstalled back onto your hard drive and your computer will be restarted. This completes the factory restore process. Your computer should look something like this once the factory restore is complete. If we look at my hard drive now, you can see that I now have 129 gigabytes of free space. That's it. You're done. Hope this video helps. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and donate to the cause. Also, I need your feedback. Please let me know what you think about this video. I'm always looking to improve and provide useful material. Stay tuned for future videos.